Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is movie review day, or at least this very moment in time. And what are we reviewing, boys and girls? <sighs> Kingsman. Now, it actually says where my finger is. What is it? It's a, more badass than Bond. And that is no bull. <laughs> I, I love the James Bond series. I love everything about it. And this is what I would want a James Bond movie to be like. And spoiler alert, all these are gonna be spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen it, run away, or if you don't care about spoilers, continue at your own risk. So, barely, barely any nudity. One nude scene right at the end, and it's of the princess's butt and, and, and the contour and an outline. So, you know, that's very minimal for a movie like this, you know, that you have like a James Bond style comedy type of thing going on. And how many times and how many places and how many movies can you get like a James Bond type of situation and an apprentice and a master and all these types of ideas. And at the end you have an anal princess because that's what ends up happening. <laughs> I mean, when she said... Oh, so if you save the world, you can do me in the ass. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? And the comedy, the styling of comedy is what I would call very British. It's very intelligent humor. Um, like into like black books and oh, uh, like even some of the older movies. Like um, there's one in particular that I, that I love that's from 1966. that Cary Grant in it. And I can't think of it offhand, but it's very witty, it's very quick, it's very um, just like in-your-face intellectual type of humor. It requires you to actually be thinking, but you don't actually have to solve a puzzle or anything like that. It's just a very self-evident type of humor. Now, fantastic cast in this thing. I mean, just Samuel L. Jackson and, I mean, how can you go wrong with Michael Caine and Samuel L. Jackson? So, I mean... Uh, another movie review that's coming up quickly is The Long Kiss Goodnight, just classic Samuel L. Jackson action going on. And, you know, this little thing going on here, slicing somebody in two and all this types of idea, how badass is that as far as just the general type of idea for a Bond film where you have a, a, a bad guy or a bad girl, right? Sidekick, bad guy's sidekick. And, uh, and to have somebody... So feminine and so beautiful and so badass. I mean, so the casting, the story concept, the writing, the directing, producing, and actors, it is just all was brought together brilliantly. So i love to see more from this director. And uh, I'd love to see some more. I mean, Michael Caine still cranking out movies. I mean, it's just <laughs> phenomenal. <clears throat> and I heard a rumor... That wasn't verified, um, and I looked it up on IMDb and some other resources. <clears throat> that the the this actor here, I forgot his name offhand, was supposed to be killed in this movie, and somehow his glasses blocked the bullet, and he's back because they are going to be working on Kingsman Two, whatever it's going to be called. Um, so I think as far as a rating from like 1 to 10, this one would definitely be like a 9, 9 point whatever. But uh, 8, 9, I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty badass. Very nice length, you know, hour and a half, something like that. It's not overly, overly evil in the way of time. So, and it is beautiful on Blu-ray. I mean, it's like, I feel like I'm like in the movie. Just fantastic. So... I would highly recommend this if you like any type of British movie, uh, humor, Faulty Towers, uh, Mighty Python, those types of ideas. Um, they threw together James Bond and put it into a comedy, still gave it a sense of urgency with some drama in there, uh, you know, the end of the world types of things are going on, right? A really epic end of the world too. And how they kill off the bad guys and all those types of stuff in mass. Is just all fantastically done. So I highly recommend if you haven't seen it and you do like comedies and you like a James Bondish type of thing as well. If you like either one, 
you got to try this out. It's definitely worth the time. So thank you very much for joining me again, Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation, coaching life, business, and spiritual, and also retreats. Boys and girls, don't forget retreats. Now down below in the description, there's tons of stuff going on, points of contact, emails, and information on coaching, links to the websites, links to other types of things. I will probably put some information and a link, like an IMDB link to this movie. Um, yeah, I like that idea. So there'll be an IMDB link to this movie so you can check it out. And from there, you can you know go to the official website and all that type of good stuff. Um, I did buy this on eBay. Uh, I bought it used. I'm a San Francisco type of guy. I'm cheap. What do you want from me? Uh, and I think I got it for like nine bucks with shipping and everything. So on, for a Blu-ray, didn't have the digital download. They'd already used the digital download, but eh, I can live. So it's all good. So for nine bucks, not bad off of eBay. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share.